The core to the West Systems product line is something called 105 epoxy resin. This is available in four different sizes. This is sort of the second size up. It's roughly a gallon of epoxy. This is a very lightly colored, just slightly, uh, not clear, but slightly amber colored resin. And it has to be used with hardeners, one of four different hardeners. This is the core building block of the West Systems line. And you'll pe hear people talk about, oh, I'm using 105, 205. When they say that, they're talking about this resin and then one of the hardeners. One of the reasons you want to use epoxy resin is that epoxy is physically strong. Where polyester resin is fairly good for laminating or for bonding cloth to a surface, epoxy resin is physically strong and yet still flexible. So it's very good for loads that are put under cyclical um, loads. Uh, so West Systems epoxy is a stronger material to use than virtually any polyester resin. Now as I said, the resin by itself never hardens, and so it's not very useful to you until you mix it with one of the four West Systems epoxy hardeners. These go by the numbers 205, 206, 207, and 209. And this container, which is not quite a quart, is the exact right amount to catalyze this gallon. The ratio in this case is five to one, and it's just how the chemistry works out. You use one-fifth as much hardener as you do uh, resin. This is what they call their fast hardener, which works really well. Today it's pretty warm. It's probably 70, 75 degrees, and this will cure pretty quickly. Um, but in colder temperatures, it'll cure in a reasonable amount of time. So unless you're in very hot temperatures, most people can get away with just using 205. As you get into more and more tropical conditions or you want a longer time to work with your project, you may want to consider a slower hardener. For warmer conditions, you may want to consider West Systems 206. This gives you a kind of a operating temperature that might be 15 degrees warmer and it will set up slower in the same temperatures as the 205. It's also mixed at a 5 to 1 mixture. Uh, and we're going to talk about how to do an exact, precise 5 to 1 mixture in just a moment. But remember, one part hardener to five parts resin. And again, if you were to mix a gallon of resin and this can, you'd come up with a perfect 5 to 1 mixture. The next hardener is called Special Coating Hardener, number 207. This is designed if you want to have an aesthetically clear surface. These hardeners tend to have a little bit of a amber hue to them, and so it makes things look nice and warm and woody. This has a much clearer consistency, so when you use it, you get um, almost water clarity. But you'll notice it's a bigger container. That's because this hardener and the 209, which we'll talk about in a moment, are used at a 3 to 1 ratio. So once again, if we were to dump this entire can into a container and add a, a gallon of West Systems 105, we'd end up with a fully catalyzed batch. This is about 42 ounces in this little can. The final hardener is Extra Slow 209. And this is used in tropical conditions and very, very warm conditions where you want more working time with it. So if you were in uh, the tropics or in Hawaii or possibly Southern California, you might want to consider using 209. Generally, conditions don't require that. So this would give you a longer working time before the product gels and eventually hardens. So one resin, four different hardeners. To make the dis uh, it easier to dispense those products in the proper ratios, we absolutely recommend the West Systems number 300 mini pumps. Now there are three pumps in this, and it's a little bit confusing. One is for either the quart or gallon container of resin. One happens to fit this size, five to one mixture, and one fits this size, three to one mixture. The way these work is that you give one push of resin and one push of hardener and you get exactly the right ratio. You don't have to do one push here and five pushes here, uh-uh, you do one and one. So depending on which particular type of hardener you're using, a single pump here and a single pump either here or here and you'll get exactly five to one or three to one mixtures. These are left inside the cans as you saw on the cans that I use at home. They're, they're, they replace the caps on it, so they're always ready to go. Just, give a, just get the air out of it a little bit by giving a couple of partial pushes, and then give it a full push, and you get a full shot of resin or hardener. 
So that's the basic assortment. Hey, one thing I should mention though, is if you just need a tiny amount of resin, using the big cans and quarts and pumps and so forth is a little cumbersome. So you can buy these little foil packages that have exactly five times as much 105 as they do 205. There are about uh, six packages in here. You just cut the top off, squeeze them out, mix them up, and you can do small repairs. And the resin's always fresh because it's sealed inside these packages. I mentioned that the resin's fresh. This doesn't use uh, volatile organic compounds to make it uh, liquid. And as a result, it doesn't really dry out. So as long as you keep the mini pumps inside the resin, it'll last for years and years and years. And in fact, some of those products are probably five years old and they just keep on working fine. Okay, so that's uh, resin and hardener and pumps.